Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1046. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 1043 to 1046, click on the link below the video. Hey, here we want to use linear regression to create a single cell formula to estimate, in our case, total units sold for six months. Here's our past data. We're going to use our X, which is number of ads. Here's the unit sold. This is all past data. This is our X. This is our Y. Here's for the next coming month our planned number of ads. And we just want to know the total units. Now, we could use the slope and intercept function. That would be our m and our b, and use our, a linear equation and uh, fill the cells and do a total. But we're going to use a single cell formula. We're going to use the trend function. The trend function is an array function, and it's great. You give it known y's. This is past data. Our known x's from past data. And here's the new x's. And what does it do? It will calculate the slope, the intercept, take each one of these values and calculate our estimated units. If I hit highlight and hit F9, you can see the trend function is delivering an array of values. Now what can we do? We can simply put it inside the sum function. Because it's an array function, We can, if we were entering it into the cells, we'd have to use the special keystroke Control Shift Enter. But because we're putting this result, resultant array of values inside some other function, all you have to do is Enter or Control Enter. No curly brackets, and there you go. Single cell formula based on past x and y data. Here's our uh, predicted x's for the future, and we wanted to total up all those values. All right, see you next trick.